What's going on YouTube? You got your favorite female trucker trucking with Kayla. So it's been like a month and three days now. I mean, three weeks. So this video is basically my one month review over night transportation. I am in a reefer division. And this video is really gonna be short because I really don't have anything bad to say. My experience so far is the, I guess the experience I was hoping for. Uh, my drive manager, uh, Derek, He's amazing. He pick up when I call. If he don't pick up, I give him a call back. I leave him a voicemail. He give me a call back. If anything's updated, I will see it because they give you the updates. But you know, we all want that call. He will give a call. If I understand something, he'll give a call. Like, so my dish or my drive manager, no issue. Um, and if he don't get in contact with me, our safety, I'm not for sure what Jordan does. I thought he was a dish batch, but he's not. He do like our safety, but he give a call checking in whenever. So that's why I said, I be trying to tell people that do ask about night. I don't know if because Columbus is a smaller terminal. So you know, the smaller better. It's like going to colleges. If you go to a small college where it's only 10 to 15 people in the classroom, you know, you build a family compared to when you in a lecture in a big university where it's hundreds of people. Like you don't even know a person in your class because there's so many people. So. That's just what I always tell people because it's no complaints. The truck, when I got it, like you said, you know, typical dirty, but I told you I went to go clean it. They reimbursed me for the cleaning stuff. Um, yeah, I, I did upload the video where I caught a flat. I'm not caught a flat. My tires blew. Um, breakdown, answer, got to me right away. When I say no problem, no problem. Um, my truck did break down. I haven't uploaded that video yet. Uh, but my truck broke down. I got towed to where I need to be. I slept in my truck that night because it was closed. And the next morning, they ordered a part, sent me to a hotel. The hotel wasn't trash. Like, it was a, a good hotel. Like, sent me to a hotel. The guy picked me up that worked there, took me back, got my truck. No problems. Um, after hours say I can't get in contact with my dish batch and sometimes I need like my uh, confirmation numbers or whatever so at the hours good so it's really no complaints like y'all probably have to comment some questions below for me to say something but my experience with night so far is a 10 out of 10 the only thing is um they was supposed to get me home I'm supposed to be OTR three weeks out two days two or three days home and I wasn't getting home, but that's because when breakdown, when my truck broke down, they had to give my load to somebody else. And I was trying to get another load. Like, it was a lot, but I called them, let them know what I wanted to do. And he said, instead of it being confusion or if I'm not here, we're just going to request these days off. So it's already in the system to get you back. So besides not getting me home on time, but when I did call, you know, let them know. Like, like I said, you just can't play about your hometown because it's like any other big company. You don't say nothing, they will keep you out. And I learned that. That's something I learned. So now I know when I need to get home, just request my days off. Like I already got next next month days requested off that I won't. But besides that, they're good. I haven't got an attitude from from anybody talking. It's just one lady after hours dish batch. It's the same lady. Like I could just tell she don't want to be there. But I always tell myself her problem is not with me. It's with whoever is with. So I don't really take offense to it. But it is the same nasty lady and i always hope that i don't get her but besides that I, it's really no complaints from me none it's just the pay but also when i did do my pay video i was getting like what i think the most was like 1700 miles this uh this week i got like almost three thousand it might be like probably like two thousand and six hundred 2700 like it was it was pretty close well if you round it up to 3000 and this low i'm actually going to utah it take a day i'm going across i'm in pennsylvania but i gotta pick up in west virginia but i'm going all the way to utah so this load is like 2000 miles itself so but i'm gonna see what my checks look like with getting those good miles but Besides that, it's really no question. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I, I really do feel like Knight is a great starter company. A great starter company. Like you said, when I was looking into Knight, it really wasn't much on there. That's why I got into vlogging actually. Like 
I got an uh, outgoing personality, but I'm not a vlogger type. Like, that ain't me. Like, I ain't a vlogger. Like, I just like to watch people, but it really wasn't no information on the pay. Like you said, people do videos over the pay, but they're not showing numbers. They're just reading you off numbers. Like, why is this so hostile? Like, show us. Like, that's why we get into trucking. We want to see the exact numbers and what we get ourselves into. But people make their, their pay and so top secret. Like, you can't vlog but don't want people in your business as i said y'all let me know what y'all want i'm going to show y'all like i don't care like that's why y'all watching but but it's just that like but it's a great starter company for those who are looking for a company and i always say i came tonight because um nobody would hire me so i'm always grateful for night i mean i do want to do three to six months my next thing as y'all can see i'm vlogging but my next go-to will be flat band and i already got a company in mind that i was looking into and they was going to hire me but you know i was waiting on night training and i'm like i've been waiting for a month and a half like and they orientation was like another month waiting and i'm just like nah i'm gonna just take it out with night so you know that video will be coming soon you know in a couple months if i do make that switch over but I do, it's grateful that Knight gave me, you know, an opportunity because I told you I filled out 20 applications and Knight was the only one that gave me a call back and did what they did. Even training, I did wait two months, but when they sent me down to Phoenix, that was a great experience. Like, my experience in trucking have been good. And like you said, the only thing that I could complain about is pay, but as a rookie, like you said, it comes and goes, but I love it. I'm an only child. So being isolated, I was in college, so small areas, it's nothing to me. Like, I actually love it, the traveling, the the seeing stuff. Now I be learning, like, if it's a terminal, like, drop my trailer off, then sometimes I, I um, bobtail. Like, I went to go get me something to eat to watch the game. Went to go check out some games. I was talking to a guy. He was letting me know that it was games going on. Like, it's AAU season. So watching games, going to Walmart, five and below, you know, doing stuff that you want to do. Like, but besides that, that's it night is a 10 out of 10 for me my first month i'm gonna come back get y'all three months but right now with anything that goes on or if there is a problem they get it fixed my pay haven't been wrong like nothing so that's it but if you got any comments please comment below please make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscription button subscription is when you pay for something subscribe button i don't know but hit that subscribe button trucking with kayla is out peace